Holy God, glory be to God. Hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. Jesus saves. This video is coming through the blood. Everybody, God is bringing the men back to their homes. God is bringing um, men back to where they're supposed to be. God is bringing the men back in these families to be the heads, okay? Not the tails above, not beneath. Blessed and not cursed to be in a position that he called them out to be in. All right, this is going to be a good one. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus. Let your holy angels rejoice around us, ascend and descend, Father. Father God, block every unclean thing that want to hinder, O Lord Jesus. Flee seven ways. One can put a thousand of flight, two can put ten thousand of flight. Let those come to the video, Father, to be healed, saved, delivered. Father God, to get wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. For all I get and get understanding. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Let nothing come from me that's not of you. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Father God, use me as you see fit. Have your way in our lives this day. Now and forevermore. Everybody, you know that God speaks to you in different ways, right? Um, I want you to know that uh, there has been a lot of breakups, all right? And um, God says that, um, a fool says there's no God. You know, there's a song that says break up to make up. That's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me. That's the game for fools. God is saying that he's not a fool. And he says, neither are you. All right. So God is bringing these home, these men back to their homes, back to their families, back to the loves. Um, God want uh, love again uh, place. He want morals back. All right. He's bringing back morals. Or the lane. It's, it's amazing. God is doing some awesome, um, amazing new things um, in his creation. You see, we, we his creation, you all. All right. Um, God is bringing back these uh, men back to the broken homes, uh, the homes that they left that were broken. Um, God is placing men back uh, where he want them to be with their women, with the wives. God is placing morals back, people lives. Um, he's placing uh, he, he gave me camp fathers out now, when I was a little girl. Camp fathers out was a place where the children in the neighborhood went uh, for a while, like for weeks. Um, and then they would uh, camp out with their fathers. All right. This is um, God is letting me know the symbolization that he want the fathers to bond back with their kids again. All right. Some fathers haven't seen their kids in years or they, they've been um, uh, missing fathers that the kids don't really know their dads. And the women have been struggling with the children and wanting to get children up and just a lot of dissension and contention in the homes. So God is replacing back with a double meant for evil. He meant it for your good. All right. I want you to know this is a good message. This is an encouraging message. He says to be still and know that I am God. Holy Spirit, speak to me, Father. Uh, some of uh, you all have been um, changed. God is changing things right now. Um, God is changing things. He's renewing. He's restoring. He's blessing just like the dew on the roses. All right. Uh, some of you all have been um, uh, misunderstood. Uh, some of you all have, have left, have been away for a while, left your families, left the women struggling to raise your families, uh, left your wives, left your loved ones. God is bringing people back for new beginnings. Some he has taken away from Places to put them where they need to be, people he wants them to be with, to hold it down for his kingdom, let that kingdom come out, will be done, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, uh, there are benefits when we deal, when we, we when we seeking God, the, 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 the grace of God, the mercy of God, God bring back his healing, everybody. God is healing relationships, he's bringing these men back. Do their heart postures to be in oneness with him, to restore, to for to treat your women like queens, all right? Uh to 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 treat them like they're supposed to be treated, to treat your children, to 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 discipline, to honor him and in, in, in all I get and get understanding. So God gave me winking, blinking, and nod. Okay. See, he speaks to us in different ways, all right, everybody. So winking, blinking, and nod was a um a children's poem, all right. 
And um, he also gave me, as I was saying, the, the camp fathers out, all right? So wink and blink and a nod is one night sailed on a river of crystal, crystal light into a sea of dew, all right? Where are you going and what do you wish? The old moon asked the three, we, he we have come to fish for the herring fish that live in this beautiful sea. Nets of silver and gold have we, said Wink and Blinkin' and Nod. The old mom laughed and sang a song as they rocked in the wooden shoe. And the wind that sped them all night long ruffled the waves of the dew. The little stars were the heavy, the herring fish that lived in that beautiful sea. Now cast your nets wherever you wish. Never afraid are we. So cried the stars to the fishermen three, winking, blinking, and nod all night long. Their nets they threw to the stars and to what come from, okay? The skies came wooden shoe. Home to all, so pretty a sail is seen. Heavenly Father, as it couldn't, as it could not be, and some folks thought twas a dream. They dreamed of sailing that beautiful sea, but I shall name you the fisherman three, winking, blinking, and nod. See, God told me that sin is believing. First Thessalonians, He said, we also thank God continuously. Because when you receive the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it, not as a human word, but as it actually is, holy God. The word of God, which which windeth at work in you who believe. Acts 16, 31, they reply, believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Hebrews 11, 1, now faith. Is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Holy God. Yes. God is saving your whole households right now. God is putting families back together that is broken. And he's replacing with the devil meant for evil. He meant it for our good. Some of you all have been crying your eyes out. Some of you all have been sold down, depressed, humiliated, feeling busted and disgusted. But God says to you, um, uh, um, come all those who are weak and heavy lady, and I will give you rest. All right, everybody. Now, the word shoe in Hebrew, from, from weak and blinking and not, shoe, symbolization, Hebrew is now. All right, is readiness, humility, or act of taking possession. God is taking back. All right, He is taking back what is His. The enemy came to still come and destroy, but God is taking back. He's giving you possession to be ready to walk in humility, not boastfulness, not arrogance, but humility. All right. Not in narcissistic ways, not in antagonistic ways, not in reviolence, but in readiness, a readiness of your heart in humility. All right. Removing one sandal was a sign of respect. And humility, Exodus 3, 5 says, do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals for the place where you are standing in holy ground. It's holy ground. The Lord wants us to approach him with all and respect everybody. So Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Right, everybody? He was afraid to look at God. So he had respect for God. When God was speaking to Moses, Moses had the respect that he didn't even want to look at, look at, you know, he was not, you know, supposed to really look at God because it's his glory. It's a respect there. See, God is bringing a respect back to his, uh, he's bringing honor back. He's an honorable God and we're supposed to honor him, we're supposed to fear him and reverence him. God is bringing this honor back. See, he is the truth. He is the light. He's the salvation of the world. He knew every hair on your head before you was created, the foundations of the world. So we are his creation. So God is going to do what he needs to do to get us right. If we've been gone astray and don't want to turn around and out there boasting about what you got and neglecting your kids, don't want to pay child support for your children, don't want to take care of your children, leaving all the, all the uh, responsibility on one person, God say, look, 
You know, some situations you got the dads missing and the grandparents taking care of the kids. All right? God is God is saying, no, these men got to get back to where they're supposed to be. So he said, you shard your feet with the preparation of gospel peace and be ready to go out and preach the gospel. All right? So the three children sailing the fisher from the boat. All right, was on was to wink. Wink the eye is mockery, mockery, to dim or flicker. Factitious, fictitiousness, sinister motives. All right, the God say don't have sinister motives. All right, so Proverbs 10, 10 says, whoever winks the eye causes trouble. Blink, gestures of malice. All right, blink is gestures of malice, pinching or squeezing, a secretive or deceitful gesture. So be careful when someone is like blinking and winking at you, right? Then you might have until your motive, all right, deception. So not is wandering or to flee exile or fugitive. So some have gone to the way of Balaam. Some have gone to the way of Balaam in your life where they just jump shit, jump responsibilities. God is bringing us back. He's bringing people back to where they're supposed to be in a position of their home to be leaders. Restlessness or being without a permanent home. See, some have been roaming it, roaming, roaming, roaming. Or give me a whole home where the buffaloes roam. You know, some been roaming and, and, and scheming and not doing the things that God say to do. Take care of your families. God is replacing things to come back to the way that they were meant to be. Conveys a sense of divine judgment or consequences seen in the act. In the act of um, Kaya. Stability and land ownership, all right, was value. And to be without a home is to be without security or identity. So God is saying that you're insecure. There's no security there or stability there. When you're roaming around and not, you know, doing the things you're supposed to do as a man. You're supposed to be taking care of your family. You're supposed to be taking care of your women, your children. All right, Psalms 59.9. I will keep watch for you, my strength, because God is my stronghold. And then I've been hearing, mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. This just means that don't encourage them to grow up in the pitfalls of roaming and selling, not selling down and being out of control and not having no direction. All right? Do not despise correction, everybody. When God corrects us, we need to receive it with humbleness. Okay? Closer my God is to thee. So your shoes, removing the sandals is humility. All right. The shoes is readiness. It gives you that humility. So God is putting people now to say, look, you haven't been acting like you should. You've been, you know, escaping responsibilities, leaving it all on the women and uh, or leaving it on the grandparents or whomever have your children. And God is saying it's time to get back in place where you're meant to be to be the head. All right? To be men like David. Okay? So God is saying that um, he is covering people like the dude. I have to the bathroom. God is saying that he's covering people like Sorry. the dude. Shh. God is saying that he's covering people like the dude on the roses. Okay? So, the do everybody... I got get my own stuff. To do everybody is tau means to cover or moisten, blessing, renewal, and divine favor. It's a natural phenomenon that provides moisture in arid regions, sustaining plant lives, and symbols God provisions of care. And the ancient new uh he's due. Everybody, okay? Just a second, everybody. Just a second. And the ancient day, everybody, okay? So, um, to come on moisture, we know, and divine, okay? And favor is natural phenomenon that provides moisture in arid regions, sustaining plant life, and symbolizing God's provision and care. And the ancient New East Dews was a crucial source of water, especially in regions with limited rainfall. It was seen as a blessing from God, essential for agriculture and survival. Dew is general and consistent presence made made it a fitting metaphor for divine grace and sustenance. Amen. Hallelujah. Israel's um, agrarian society, the regular um, appearance of dew was vital for crops, particularly during the dry seasons. Right. So uh, dew is favor, all right, it's blessings, 
It's divine favor from God. All right? It's heavenly things to do. To do. I'm going to go to everybody, okay? The factual pharaoh prays that a right is available for much. To you how much is given, much is required. You all, thank you. I apologize for the um, interruptions. All right? You got to fit in when you can get in when you can fit in. When you're working around certain atmospheres. In Psalms 133.3, it says, As the dew of Hermon, as it a dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessings even by forevermore. Proverbs 3.20, By his knowledge, your depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. Heavenly Father, yes, that dew is your blessings, everybody. That dew is, you know, healing the dried up things in your life, okay? It's a symbolization that God is bringing back alive the dried up things. Some of you all have been crying your eyes out. Some of you all have been depressed. Some of you all have turned to drugs and alcohol. Some of you all thought you was losing your minds because you've been handling this stuff by yourselves. Um, these times are tough these, these days, okay? But God is bringing these men back to the forefront to where they belong in their homes, all right? All right? And he's going to be, uh, you're going to be treated women like queens. God is, God is doing this. This is a supernatural God. He's powerful. All right. Proverbs 19.12. The king's wrath is of the roaring of a lion, but his favor is his dew upon the grass. God is shutting the lion, just like he did lion's mouth, just like he did with Daniel when the lion's there. He's shutting that lion's mouth, everybody, okay? The song of Solomon. I sleep, but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved, the knock of saying, open to my sister, my love, my dove, my my undefiled, for my head is filled with dew, and my locks with the drop of the, of the night. See, the, the dew, the dew, that dew, that dew does amazing things, prosperous things, right? All right, everybody, I want you to know to be encouraged, no matter what is going on, but God is replacing the men back. Where they need to be is the head, not the tail above, not the head. Bless them, my curse. Okay, everybody. All right, everybody. I want you all to be blessed. Um, stay prayed up. All right? God is bringing the men back to be where they belong. All right? There's healing. There's healing through the Most High God. All right? So, everybody, peace be still. Love God with all your heart, might, and soul. Love our neighbors, ourself. The just shall live by faith. God is bringing them back, all right? The help coming from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Some of you all have been praying, been praying and praying. God is changing their hearts, all right? I want you to know that God is changing their hearts. He's giving family reunions. Uh, marriages are happening, kingdom marriages. God is showing people feet, putting them back where they belong. He's looking for these men to be men again, all right? So we bless everybody.